Jodie reporting on our recent talent show from Clybank High School. Let's take a look at some of the acts. <laughs> I think the school needed something to bring themselves together, a whole community event that everybody could take part in, anybody that wanted to, whether they're watching or taking part, and I like a wee sing song myself, so I quite like doing that kind of thing. What act stood out from all the finalists? It's really difficult because I think they were all really very good, to be honest. Um, I think Thomas Lawrence really stood out for me with his fantastic actions that he really got involved. You could tell he was really enjoying it. Um, and Kimberly Allen, to be honest, she, her voice is just really beautiful. So I guess the two of them really stood out for me. What did you think of Mr Hans Kill's harsh comments regarding some of the acts? Well, that's just unnecessary, isn't it, really, to be treating people like that and saying things like that. You know what they say about people in glass houses? But anyway, no, it is, I think it was really, it was done all in jest and everybody was quite happy. Um, and especially Fern gave as good as she got, so good for her. <laughs> now the talent show was for charity. How much money did you raise and what charity is the money going to go to? We raised over £700, which is absolutely fantastic. Really proud of everybody who took part. Um, so that was really, really good and obviously all the staff helping with that as well. Um, we have given the money towards uh, supporting um, the young people of Claybank High School going on school trips and things like that. But also, um, it's also been going towards all the house charities. So it's been split up between all the different houses and the charities uh, that they're all supporting. So yeah, so quite a lot of people are benefiting out of it. Thank you, Mrs. Saba, for taking the time out to do this interview. No problem. Thank you very much. Hello, Fern. Thanks for giving this time to give this interview. So you showed some great dance moves. Do you attend any clubs outside of school? No, I don't. Well, where did you learn then? Myself. I just teach myself. What age did you start dancing? Four years old. And how often do you practice? Every night. Have you entered any other competitions outside of this school? Yes, Golden House Got Talent at my recent primary school. Did you win? No, but um, I'm really proud of myself and taking part. Winning's not everything. How did it feel to be in the final? It felt phenomenal. I'm just so proud of myself and I didn't know I would make it that far. You were very entertaining and the audience loved you. Thanks for taking this time to have this interview. Hello, I'm Alexander McKechnie and I'm, a, and I'm here with the Clybank High School BBC School Report team. I'm here interviewing Kimberly Allen who is the winner of our high school school show. Well, being a part of the school show, you played Chip in our um, rendition of the Beauty and the Beast. Um, that must have helped with the notes. Yeah, it really did help. I suppose sort of acting and singing are both nerve-wracking, like being on stage all together is nerve-wracking, but it did help. Going in, did you think you would win? It was sort of a last-minute decision when I was watching some of the other acts perform, and I was thinking to myself, oh, I really wish I'd like, went off and maybe applied for an audition. And then I just I ended up asking one of the teachers and they were like, Yeah, that's fine so but I didn't have I didn't think I would win. Um, did you feel under pressure from any of the other competitors? Definitely. There were some really good acts and dancers and other singers and I did feel really under pressure for competition. Um, were you happy to win? Yeah, I had lots of support support from my friends and stuff so it was really amazing. And the big final question, will you be entering any future competitions? Um, yeah, I would love to. 
um, singing sort of something that I would love to do as a sort of career. Uh, I do like gigs and now. I was in Helensburg just this weekend um, for a fundraiser event for Cancer Research UK and I've got another gig at the beginning of April where I'm supporting Nicholas McDonald so it's really good and I would love to do future competitions and stuff. Thank you for the interview Kimberly. Back to you in the studio. Congratulations to Kimberly. She really does have a fantastic voice. We wish every success to her in the future. Thanks for listening. I'm Jodie reporting for Claremont High School.